Alright, so here's a bit of Stormhawk's headcanon slash story arc I had in my own headcanon universe, call, uh, which the story arc I called Schism. Now, Schism is, um... <laughs> the story is about the... Is, it's kind of a mixture of old headcanon and new headcanon. This is, like I've said it before about headcanon. The beauty is you can make it whatever the flying fuck you want, and you can make it stick because, yeah, no, there is no set rules. Though, then again, I think I'm kind of like, um, I'm kind of settling down with the headcanon I'm working with. So, yeah, this might actually be my set little Stormhawks universe and its rules. Um, but yeah, Schism is kind of like a combination of the old and new rules for this, um, Stormhawks universe I kind of put together. So the story of Schism is centered around, um, the revelation that, um, Arrow discovers that Cyclo that Master Cyclonus is his sister, it's his twin sister, and now he wants to, he doesn't know how to react to that, he really doesn't know, you know, the person who has more or less, you know, the, you know, this person who has lorded over and, as a tyrant over several terrors has quintessentially, you know, been responsible for genocide in some cases, um, and just an all-around, you know, warlord, is his twin sister, and he doesn't know how to really comprehend that and really he doesn't know what to do with it. He, he's um, nervous, but at the same time, there's like a part of him that's happy that he's not alone. There's a part of him that, is, that wants to get to know her. The sad part is, he does know her, and <laughs> the, scene, the stuff he's seen of her is not good. But there is a part of him who thinks, well, she's my sister, so maybe I can help her. So, Arrow, from there, decides to try to get in contact with Cyclonus, but the problem is that he he realizes, oh yeah, I know this uh, this uh, tidbit, but you know this tidbit of information. But does she know? Does Cyclonus know? And if I tell her, there's a good chance I'm not, she's not going to believe me. So that's kind of, so. Also, if you're wondering where he got this information, um, Argyon, I always forget how to pronounce his name. The uh, the trainer from the episode, um, the uh, the sleeker from. Uh, the episode "The Lesson," he more or less uh, shares the information that er uh, that Arrow, Arrow, and Cyclonus are pretty much brother and sister, and they were separated at birth to keep Cyclonia from start uh, fall uh, Terra Cyclonia from falling into a civil war. Um, so yeah, it's it's kind of interesting because now everyone's like, "Man, Arrow, you're you're a prince. You're technically a prince of Cyclonia. How do we deal with that?" <laughs> and the, the Stormhawks are very kind of like, you were, you know, you're literally the heir to the throne of a cycle of the people we've been fighting this whole time. I don't know how to deal with that. <laughs> but yeah, Arrow wants to, you know, Arrow wants to at least tell um, Cyclonus this, and yeah, he wants to get to know her. However, there are some, uh, some people among the Stormhawks that are like, no, you shouldn't tell her because there's no changing her. You know, the damage done to her is already done. You know, the damage to her is already done. That you know, even if she is your sister, and if she do even if she does believe you, that just means you're going to be another threat to her. And the person who's kind of leading the charge on no, we shouldn't tell her is Finn. Yeah, the jo the team's jokester of all people is the one telling him. Because I feel like Finn would be the one who would be like, no, no, we shouldn't do this. Piper would probably go along with it hope, as a way to hopefully end the war between, you know, Cyclonia and Edmosia as a way of, like, maybe if she does, if you, maybe you can convince her and you and the two of you can, you know, maybe rule together. But Finn's like, no, dude, no, that is not a good idea. You know, chances are, even if she does believe you, she's gonna kill you. That's the problem, she's gonna kill you if even if you do tell her and she does and if by some miracle she does tell you because now not only are you a threat to her as in the as a sky knight you're a threat to her as a rival to the throne you know the thing she believes she has so finn is very against the idea of um <laughs> is very against the idea of telling cyclonus all of this so uh, but however our guy just decided you yeah, know we're just going to tell cyclonus anyway so, Cyclonus, of course, finds this news, and from there, um, <laughs> she is like, 
holy shit, what do I do <laughs> with this? And, yeah, she goes out to find Arrow. She sets out to find Arrow, and from there they kind of have this, um, this sisterly, you know, this uh, sibling bond between them, and they try to talk things out. Um, but however, Cyclonus, while she doesn't, you know, she wants to make it very clear. You, okay, we're brother and sister now, and we're, we now know they're brother and sister, but let me make this clear. Just because I, you know, just because you're my brother, that doesn't mean anything's going to change between us. Unfortunately, th something does change between them. That being is that a certain, a certain someone has discovered, yeah, you were, you know, you were born of a sky, your father was a sky knight, more or less, uh, master, and that person is an OC character I call Admiral, uh, Admiral Kane. Admiral Kane is, yeah, he's more or less, I based him off of Grand Admiral Thrawn from Star Wars, but he's human, and he, he is the uh, supreme admiral of the Cyclonian fleet, and he's discovered this news um, through Gideon's help, who dis you know, who made this discovery by, um, you know, checking the DNA of all past Sky Knights and linking and matching it with that of Lightning and Cyclonus together, and it's like, oh, it's a match. So, yeah, guess what? Our our leader's the the daughter of a Sky Knight. So, yeah, and some Cyclonians believe, well, <laughs> you're not a true leader of Cyclonia. So me, there's a quintessential schism going on in, among Cyclonia, while at the same time there is a schism going on among the Sky Knight, you know, among the Stormhawks, who are very, you know, between, you know, in between all of this. In the end, um, I kind of, you know, I, I more or less had it that in the end it comes down to a fist fight between Finn and Arrow, after Finn more or less, <laughs> he's like, I'm going to end this right now, you know, we'll just let Cyclonia tear itself apart, um, and you're gone. And he actually tries to kill Cyclonus, and Finn and Arrow get into a fist fight over this, and what happens next is that the Stormhawks quintessentially split apart. The Storm, you know, um, Finn, Junko, uh, Finn and Junko leave the Sky, you know, they leave the Sky Knight, they leave the, uh, Stormhawks, and create their own Sky Knight squadron. While Finn, uh, while Piper, uh, Piper and Stork stay with Arrow, and Cyclonus actually joins the Stormhawks. She actually joins alongside the Stormhawks, and actually changes her, um, her attire. She actually goes from a black and purple suit to a blue and white, co uh, to a blue and white suit. Think, uh, just kind of imagine her, um, her uniform, but with, um, Instead of purple and black, it's blue and it's um, black and blue. I mean, excuse me, white and blue with the Stormhawk symbol instead of the Cyclonian symbol, trying to prove that she's trying to change. <laughs> um, meanwhile, Ad 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 Admiral Kane has become um, the acting leader of the Cyclonian Empire, which he is now called the Cy uh, the um, Cyclonian Remnant. Well, not Remnant. Not uh, excuse me, not Remnant. Um, the Cyclonian military faction, which is, yeah, he's now made it from an empire to a military, to a complete military faction. Um, no more royalty, it's now under the command of the, of the, M of the milit, of the, of the empire on its own. No empire? Getting tongue-tied here. But yeah, no empire, now it's completely under the control of the military, and, um, the ro there is no more royal family. Meanwhile, you know, while right that Ravis and uh, Snipe and Ravis are like, yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get behind this. Some other um, Dark Ace is not really cool with this. And while he doesn't join with the Sky Knights, he doesn't exactly join. <laughs> he's not exactly joining with this new Cyclonian group because he and Kane just do not get along. So uh, so Dark Ace goes out on his own. Um, Ravis and Snipe hook up with this new empire along with pretty much all the Cyclonian, a majority of the Cyclonians. Anyone uh, the um, other Cyclonians who were more loyal to Cyclonus just kind of break off, and they're just like, eh, we we don't know what we are anymore. <laughs> and Dark Ace goes off on his own. He goes, and he more or less has gone off on his own to kind of rethink his life, more or less. Meanwhile, um, meanwhile, Repton and the other, you know, Repton, Starling, and the other, and the um, Rep and the Raptor uh, and the Raptors are more or less like. Oh uh, shit! We'll just hide, we'll just lock we'll just put Bogaton on lockdown. That's that's what we'll do. So yeah, 
There you go. The entire Stormhawks universe is completely put on a change on a total change of events. And yeah, now you're probably wondering who joined Finn and Junko's team. Who who am I, you know who actually you know hooked up with the you know the other storm the other Stormhawks team. Um, the other Stormhawks team consisted of Finn, Junko, Susie Lou. Um, trying to remember who else. Um, I'm trying to remember the, the uh, one of the some of the characters from the Ultra Dudes. I just can't remember their names, but yeah, and some of the char and they were calling themselves also the Storm the other Stormhawks as some people called them. Whereas whereas um, actually Repton and Starling actually joined the the original Stormhawks group with Arrow, Pi with Arrow, Piper, and Stork, and now Cyclonus, Starling, and Repton are all part of that group as well. So yeah. To <laughs> yeah, the entire Stormhawks universe got totally turned off its, its access in this story arc. Yeah, so there you go, guys. There is a bit of a story arc headcanon right there. Um, I know it's a little new, but yeah, I decided, yeah, I might as well talk about it. Anyway, so you guys tell me. What do you guys think of this idea? Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? Just comment below, let me know, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.